Hello, this video is Scorpio. Scorpio, this is your July 2020. So Scorpio, the first card that comes up for you guys, this will speak of the Fool card. So when we talk about uh, the Fool, it is going to be something of maybe uh, to get you going. The Fool was also talking about um, beginnings even. Let me show you the card. So here's the Fool card. I don't know if you can see that. So with the full card, Scorpio, this is definitely about beginnings, possibilities, pleasure, thoughtlessness, adventure, opportunities. Okay, so for a lot of you, for a lot of you Scorpios, this card is definitely indicating that you are looking for a new beginning in a certain situation. Your possibilities with someone is pretty much endless, meaning that there's definitely uh, something intriguing you about someone, somebody that you can't possibly let go of or get out of your thoughts. There's also somebody who you're wanting to communicate with in one aspect, but there's another side of you that may be a little bit hesitant at this time, only for now, temporarily. But there is going to be an adventure coming up for you and someone else, Scorpio. I also feel like the opportunity is going to present itself the pleasure that you gave one another in this relationship, the happiness, the challenges even, the feistiness. It, it almost seems that, Scorpio, you were pretty much even turned on by this person because of the fact that they were maybe spicy or maybe that they were kind of feisty to you or uh, they didn't let you, you know, get away with the bullshit or they called you out on your bullshit and you kind of liked it, Scorpio. So it feels like, you know, this person is definitely going to be a very good possibility for new beginnings that are coming in the month of July. Now, for some of you Scorpios, this card is in fact in reverse. And what this is going to talk about for some of you Scorpios, this may or may not apply. Um, so whatever resonates good and whatever doesn't, let it go. But for the other Scorpios, um, this can be you with being very indecisive about something, unsure, hesitant, there's hesitation in making a decision of moving forward. There's hesitation in creating um, a, a, a rebound or, or creating um, a love affair again with the same person. It feels like you may be uh, hesitant on whether or not to move forward at this time. You're not sure also if the other person is wanting that or you have your pride in the way, Scorpio, and you don't know what to do because you don't want to look like you're giving in. You don't want to look like you're weak. You don't want to look like um, you're going to let something go easily. You're trying to prove a point here. I also feel like there may be something of injustice. So you may feel something uh, happened that was unjust to you. Or um, there may have been something also that could have been a bad choice and that could have been in business decisions. So for some of you Scorpios in business decisions, you may feel like you made a bad choice. For some of you, you could have made a bad choice by walking away from somebody and now you're having regrets. So that's one of the cards that comes up. The next card that's coming up is going to speak of the Emperor. So I feel like with the Emperor, this card here is pretty much going to uh, kind of let you know where you stand in, in one aspect. But at the same time, um, the Emperor is going to show you he's taking control kind of thing. It also feels like with the Emperor that there's going to be uh, something going on that has to do with, um, wait a minute, I'm, I don't know, I'm trying to see a, a message here that's coming. Excuse me one second. But where the emperor is concerned, I, I do feel like, you know, it's kind of like the moon card where the emperor is at because the emperor is taking control. The emperor is feeling like um, he's just not sure of something. Uh, he's, he's There he is there trying to make a decision. I still think that's talking about being indecisive. I think it's also talking about him being hesitant. I think it's very similar to the Fool card because the feelings that go with this definitely talk about feeling like you made a bad choice, feeling like something shouldn't have happened, feeling like you should have handled something better. Okay, Scorpio, so it's definitely talking about you should have handled something a little bit better or in a better way or maybe you feel that you were uh, not as forgiving as you should have been. So, there might have been some injustice here. The next card that comes up for you, 
<clears throat> excuse me, in fact, talks about the death card. So with the death card, the death card can talk about something ending. It can talk about something being um, over, uh, but in a good way. For some of you, this can be a downfall. It can be unexpected failure, controversy, ravage, disaster, or ill-tempered. So I think a lot of this devil card talks about maybe how you blew up at something, how you got upset about something, how you uh, didn't take control of your feelings in a certain situation. It also feels like, um, you know, your your temper or your mood or maybe your partner's mood uh, is uh, their downfall because they can't control something. But also when we talk about uh, the devil card, it also talks about controversy. So there's, there may be some controversy going on right now in your situation, and there may even feel like there was a disaster, something that was completely blown up or blown out of proportion or something that was kind of like a mess. So be careful with that. Be careful with that. The next card that comes up for you is the chariot card. So when we talk about the chariot card, well, this can have a lot of different meanings. The chariot is something that can pretty much... Um, Talk about direction, okay, which way to go, because you can see the signs that are there, which way to go, perseverance, being rushed in a decision, turmoil, vengeance, adversity. So it can be all of those things. But I feel like with this being rushed to feeling like you, you're being rushed to make a decision, feeling like you're being rushed to forgive somebody faster than you're ready to, feeling like you're being rushed... Um, it may be with work, it could be with friends, it could be with family, and it can be in love. So be careful with that. This card also can go in the reverse for some of you. <clears throat> the reason I show it both ways <clears throat> is because there's always a different Scorpio personality here. Depending on where your moons and sun and rising signs are, and all that can be effective. So reversal of the chariot can talk about defeat, failure, being unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. So being unsuccessful in something, meaning that you didn't feel like you maybe did your best in a relationship. Maybe you didn't feel like um, you reached a certain goal that you were looking for. You may also feel some kind of disappointment right now, Scorpio, because you may be missing somebody um, who you almost can reach out and touch, but yet you can't. It's like they're right there, but they're not. It's like you can see them, but you but you can't talk to them or you can... Be near them, but you can't speak. Whatever it is, there's something that is keeping the two of you from being able to communicate right now. So whatever that is, that is going to change. We're in the process. Take your time because the universe is going to show you that your partner does belong in your life. And they're going to keep showing you little clips, almost like watching fast clips or fast movies. And you're going to see your partner here and there. You may be um, at a store. You may be at a restaurant. You may be at a bar. You may be um, anywhere. And see this person from a distance, but you can't speak for whatever reason. There's, you're not able to speak. I see a lot of movement, a lot of movement. So that makes sense. Then you have the Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> when we talk about the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and I'll show you the card. The Four of Pentacles, all right? So somebody's kind of antsy. Somebody's losing their patience, waiting. Somebody is... Not sure whether or not something's going to work out. Somebody may be panicking over a certain situation. Um, and it feels like, you know, things could mm, maybe feel like they're ungenerous. Like somebody's not being very kind right now. Or somebody's not giving in right now. Or somebody's not giving you what you want right now where the Four of Pentacles are concerned. I also feel like there might be um, miserly. Like somebody might feel miserable or the situation might feel miserly to you. Um, it also talks about uh, greed. Could be greed as well. Somebody being greedy. Because when you talk about pentacles, that's money, right? So you see this person is sitting on all their money. In other words, they're just keeping it all to themselves. They may not be sharing something right now. They may not be giving you exactly what it is that you want or you deserve. Or you may not be giving somebody something. Um, there's also going to be the Ten of Wands coming in. And the Ten of Wands does feel like it's something that's going to talk about carrying too much that you can handle. So right now, Scorpios, it feels like you're overwhelmed with feelings of something. You may be overwhelmed with sadness. You may be overwhelmed with hurt. You may feel overwhelmed with a whole situation that you don't know what to do about something. You also may be missing somebody so much that that's exactly why you're feeling this way. 
So when we talk about the Four of Wands, the Four of Wands is... Uh, you're going to reevaluate something. It feels like you're going to want to reevaluate something and get something figured out. You're not exactly waiting. Um, not a lot of ambition uh, to this part. I, I just feel like um, you're struggling to get up the hill. You're struggling to get to that answer. In the month of July, again, dissatisfaction. Okay, there could be something that is dissatisfying you. Um, but then it can also mean kindness. So somebody could be kind, trying to help you carry the load. Somebody could be kind, trying to say something nice to you. Somebody may want to reach out to you, Scorpio. Somebody may want to tell you they're sorry. Somebody may not want to lose you and may have very mm, sad feelings right now about the whole situation and want to make up. So that's what I hear. Next card comes up is the temperance card. So temperance card always talks about getting balance one way or the or the other. Definitely talking about having balance, trying to feel uh, kind of like, you know, something's going to work out for itself. It is going to work it out, but it's going to take some balance, some time. It's going to take figuring something out. I also feel like with this temperance card, with this temperance card, it does in fact speak about patience. Being a good influence, having confidence, doing things in moderation. So I feel like maybe you went overboard in a couple situations. You may not have handled something the way you wanted to. But I definitely feel with the temperance card, it does represent patience, um, a good influence. Again, uh, confidence, moderation. So I feel like there's somebody who you're going to go back and get involved with. But this person you're going to have moderation with. You're not going to see them every Friday or every Wednesday or every Tuesday or every day, it's going to be in moderation, a little here, a little there. But I feel like slowly you're going to work things out through these meetings, through these um, get-togethers. So that's coming. For some of you, it could, in fact, be reversed. If the temperance card is reversed, it talks about more conflict, disunion, frustration, impatience. So I think a lot of you may be dealing with this for impatience, meaning you want something to happen right away. You want somebody to come towards you. You want to resolve the situation. You want to be back together. So this is definitely talking about having some impatience here. So not being patient. Wait for it. Not waiting for God's timing. Not waiting for the universe to bring things to you. Be patient. Nothing's going to happen overnight. This argument, this disagreement, things that you went through, Scorpio, um, this breakup even, is is going to resolve itself, but it's not going to happen in your time. It's going to only happen in God's timing, so be patient. A lot of you Scorpios are very disoriented uh, with something, feeling very sad. <clears throat> Excuse me, when I see the Three of Swords, it talks about sadness. It talks about a broken heart. It also talks about disappointment. It talks about something not working out in the way that you thought that it would. It also talks that there could be... Um, there could be a situation where with the Three of Swords, it's talking about a broken relationship, right? So it's talking about um, kind of like civil war. So when I get this, it's, it's you and somebody else didn't agree with something. You and somebody else got off on the wrong foot or got on the wrong page or, uh, again, can't find that common balance. But it's okay. Be patient. Uh, the Strength card is your last card that comes up. And Strength card talks about hanging in there, holding on, knowing what you can handle and what you can't, knowing that there is something that is going to be uh, better. It is going to work out for you. Um, knowing that patience is a virtue, that's very important. Also knowing that not only courage, but conviction is a very big part here. Strength, determination, action, heroism, um, virility, all that speaks of the strength card. So strength is talking about being able to get through a situation that you never thought you could get through. Being able to resolve issues between two people, um, trying to figure something out, feeling like there was an end to it and it's never going to work out. It's never going to be fixed. I'm never going to see them again. I'm never going to be with them. And that's not true. So the strength card is proving that to you. It's saying that you just need to be patient. It's saying that um, be determined because you have a lot of determination. You're determined to make this work. You're determined to make something happen. Um, your actions are going to show. And again, the strength card talks about taking action. So I do feel like you're going to be taking action soon, Scorpios, towards your partner, somebody who you want to go back and reconnect with. You're going to make an action. Either you're going to write a message, send a text, make a phone call, 
see them in person, finally speak up and say something, but something's coming, Scorpio, and it's going to be good. July, things are going to start working out for you and a partner, so be patient because it's coming towards you. However, the biggest message for Scorpio for the month of July is that although what you truly believe in your mind feels as if it would be a dream, it would be a miracle, it would be amazing if something worked out, well, get ready. Because what you thought was over, what you thought the door was shut on, it's going to open back up. You're going to have another chance to fix something and to handle it the right way. But I will say, Scorpio, get careful, because if you don't handle this one the right way, there may not be another opportunity after this. So be careful. Be careful.